Again, good morning. Um, we are now on chapter 2 of our discussion for general mathematics or subject natin ng GenMath. And chapter 2, we will be talking about rational functions. So, if you would recall, nung grade 10 tayo, actually, eh, nasa second quarter ata to ng grade 10, na-discuss natin kung ano ang definition ng isang polynomial function, which is a polynomial function of degree n is a function that can be written in the form, as you can see, a n x raised to n plus a n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 up to a 0 where yung mga a sila po yung coefficients n is a positive integer and bawat term or bawat ina-add dyan is a term of the polynomial function yung leading coefficient is yung coefficient yung pinakamataas na power ng x or yung coefficient ng term na may pinakamataas na power ng variable x kung variable x ang ginagamit dun sa function leading term ang tawag dun sa mismong pinagsamang um, leading coefficient at saka yung term or yung variable na merong pinakamataas na exponent yung constant term a0 is yun po yung term na wala siyang variable x or free of variable x constant lang siya, number lang This time, ang pag-aaralan ng rational functions. When we say rational function, from the word ratio, rational function, from the word ratio, ratio naman siya ng polynomial functions. A rational function is a function of the form f of x equals p of x over q of x, where both p x and q of x are polynomial functions. So, kapag pinag-divide natin ang dalawang polynomial functions, makakapag-form tayo ng rational functions. So, division is also ratio. Kaya nga, rational function from the word ratio. Okay? But there is an important thing to remember here. Yung nasa denominator natin, or the q of x na function, yung nasa baba po, dapat hindi po siya zero function. That is, it is, should not be equal or equivalent to zero. Okay? At ang domain ng function f of x natin, natin or yung rational function natin is lahat ng values na hindi magzi-zero si q of x. Why? Kasi kapag zero po si q of x, of course, that is division with zero. Parang nagde-divide tayo ng zero. And we all know na mortal sin po yan sa math. Hindi po tayo pwede mag-divide ng zero because we get an undefined or undetermined, sorry, undefined um function or expression. So, ang domain is anything or all values ng x na dapat hindi mag-zero yung q of x. Yun po yung domain. So, okay lang ba na mag-zero yung p of x? Yes. Kasi ang p of x, pag nag-zero, nasa numerator po yan. And 0 divided by any number is still 0. No? Okay lang po na mag-zero yung numerator or yung p of x, yung nasa taas. Pero yung q of x, yun po yung iiwasan nating maging 0. Okay, for example, meron tayo ditong word problem. Ang sabi, an object is to travel a distance of 10 meters. Express the velocity v as a function v of t of travel time t in seconds. So, kikai daw tayo or mag-express tayo ng function or express natin yung velocity as a function of time. So, v of t. Okay, hindi... hindi hindi x ang variable natin this time. Variable natin this time is t because velocity is a function of time. And we all know, di ba, that velocity is equal to change in position or displacement all over time. But if we are referring only to the magnitude or we do not just consider the direction, pwede natin sabihin that velocity is equal to distance all over time. So, as you can see here, function siya. Si velocity ay function ng time. Ibig sabihin, si velocity ay na kadepende sa time. And we can express that as a V of t equals d all over t. And since ang distance natin is given naman na 10 meters, substitute po natin iyan. 
we get v of t 10 all over t and of course the unit is meters per second kasi meters naka meters yung distance naka seconds po yung time so ito po actually yung function v of t and as you can see it is a rational function kasi ratio siya ng dalawang polynomial functions and kapag green off nga natin yan ganito po yung magiging itsura ay okay <laughs> sorry borain ko yan so v of t is equal to 10 all over t meters per second kapag nag plinat natin yung curve first by um, getting the value v value of v for the specific value ni t which is when t equals 1 makukompute mo, substitute mo siya dito sa function evaluate mo siya at t equals 1 makukuha mong value ng v of t is 10 or the velocity is 10 meters per second when t equals 2, substitute mo siya dyan. So, 10 divided by 2, makukuha mo naman si 5. 10 divided by 4, 2.5, and so on hanggang sa... So, pinili lang niya naman yung ano, um, this is specific um, values ng time. Although, infinity naman yan. O, marami siyang pwedeng values. Pero, uh, pinili niya lang ito para madali siyang i-graph. Kasi pag green natin po, yung sa positive lang, o yung quadrant 1 lang. Okay, ganyan po yung maging itsura. So, we have a another example here. Sabi niya, given na yung function. Suppose that C of t equals 5 over t lower t squared plus 1 in milligrams per milliliters represents the concentration of a drug in a patient's bloodstream T hours after the drug was administered. Oh, walang tanong. Ang gagawin natin is igograph daw natin itong function na to. Kasi given naman na yung function, ang gagawin is hanapin natin yung graph. So basically, pag napapatay ng graph, especially if hindi naman tayo familiar sa magiging itsura, no? unlike Kapag circle, ellipse, parabola, hyperbola, yung mga ganun, meron silang standard equations na tinatawag. So, this is a rational function. So, the best way, if you are not familiar kung anong magiging itsura ng graph, is magplot ka. Ibig sabihin, magset ka ng values ni t, and then, for each value of t, you evaluate the value of c of t. Ibig sabihin, isubstitute mo lang. Yung values ni t, ikaw ang bahala kung ano ang gagamitin mo as long as mag-graph mo siya ng tama as long as ma-evaluate mo siya so dito ginamit niya yung values ni t from 0 to 10 okay sir pwede bang mag negative of course walang negative dyan kasi time yan no? as much as possible if time is concerned time is progressive diba dapat from 0 then pataas lang sa positive side so nagsimula lang siya sa 0 and then, in-evaluate niya. When t equals 0, substitute mo lang yung value ni t dito sa ating c of t na function. Magsi-zero lang. Kasi 0 ito, 0 ito, merong 1 sa baba, pero 0 yung nasa taas, 0 times 5, 0. So, when t equals 0, 0 pa rin siya. When t equals 1, substitute mo siya. So, 5 times 1 all over 1 squared plus 1, that is... 5 all over, 1 squared is 1 plus 1, 2. So, 2.5. Nakuha na yung 2.5 doon. Uh, when t equals 2, 5 times 2 all over 2 squared plus 1, that is 5 times 2 is 10. Divided by 2 squared is 4 plus 1, that is 5. So, that is equal to 2. Kaya nakuha yung 2. So, again, itong mga values ni t, 0, 1, 2, 5, 10, uh, pinini ko lang yan, no? You can choose other. Uh, kung gusto mo, dahan-dahanin mo siya. Pwede mo siyang dagdagan kung gusto mo para mas ma-define ng mabuti yung graph mo. Pwede mo siyang dagdagan ng 1, 
ah sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nasa sa'yo naman. As long as mapakita natin yung graph. And then the process continues and is repeated for the different values of t. For t equals 5, ganun din din po yung nakuha natin. So, uh, niround off niya lang ito up to 3 decimal places. Si 10, ganyan din po. And when we plot that, siguro naman alam na natin mag-plot sa Cartesian plane. So, yun nga lang, ang ating graph is, ang nasa horizontal axis is t, hindi siya x. Ang nasa vertical axis is y, uh, c of t, hindi y. So, ganito po yung magiging graph. And then, naka-highlight or naka-emphasize yun pong mga points na ginamit natin. 0, 1, 2, 5, and 10. Ayan. Nandito sa 0. Pagdating kay 1, as you have noticed, yung value ni C of T ay bababa. And then, pababa siya ng pababa hanggang sa 10. And so on. Kapag nag-continue pa yan, bababa pa siya. Okay. So, that is the graph. Hindi ko nakalagay ito. Pero, ang nakalagay dito na um, question or problem is sketch the graph. And ito nga po yung graph niya. Okay, another ano, another example. This time, meron tayong fence. Okay. Babakuran daw natin ng isang rectangular vegetable farm na ang area is 400 square meters. X is the length of one side of the fence. Find the function P, which represent the, represents the perimeter of the fencing material required. So, we are given a rectangular farm. And alam nyo na, ang area ng rectangle is... Nasaan na tayo? Yeah. The area of a rectangle is equal to the length times width. And the given area is actually 400 square meters. So, L times width equals 400 meters. X is the length of one side. So, yung length, palitan na natin yun ng X. Then, times W equals... 400. Ang hinahanap sa atin is yung function ng P of X representing the perimeter. Ano po ang perimeter ng rectangular figure? That is twice the length plus twice the width. Twice the width. Okay. Or, pwede rin yung iba ang nakasulat is 2 times L plus width. Okay lang din naman po yan. Parehas lang, dinistribute lang yung 2. Dito sa function natin na P of X, ang L natin, which is the length, is X yung P, sinabi niya na gamitin natin variable. So, magiging 2X po ito. Ngayon, saan natin kukunin yung value ni W? Okay, kasi, or yung width. Diba? Okay. If we want to represent the perimeter as a function P of X, dapat yung variables na nandito is in terms of X lang para matawag mo siyang function. Not unless constant term siya. Hindi niya naman sinabing constant term. So, hindi mo pwede ilagay as final answer yung 2W kasi hindi uniform yung ating variables. Ito, in terms of X, which is good kasi yun nga yung pinapakuhang function. The perimeter is in terms of X. But, this part, 2W, is not in terms of X. So, kailangan mapalitan mo siya in terms of X. Saan mo siya ngayon kukunin? Kukunin mo siya dun sa given relationship ng area. Okay, the area, length times width equals 400. From here, so X times W is 400. I can solve for W here. Magde-divide lang po tayo ng X. Such that, makakancel uh, na yung x dun sa left side and then we got 400 over x which is an expression for the width w which is also in terms of x so pwede na ngayon natin palitan yung w dito ng 400 all over x 
and simplify lang natin 2x plus yung 2 imumultiply mo sa numerator so that is 800 all over x para mas maganda siyang tingnan okay express natin siya as a single fraction that is kunin natin yung least common denominator and isa lang naman ay ang may denominator yan si x so si x na agad ang ating gagamitin denominator then x divided by 1 di ba kasi supposed to be may 1 dyan x divided by 1 is x times 2x, we get 2x squared. And then, dun sa second fraction, x divided by x, 1 times 800, of course, that is 800. So, ito na ngayon yung function natin. P of x in terms of x. We have 2x squared plus 800 all over x. Yan na po yung sagot natin. So, yun na. Yun yung um, introduction. Yung all about rational functions. So, for lesson number 5, or next topic is i-distinguish natin kung <laughs> ang daming di i distinguish natin kung ano ang rational function, ano ang rational equation, ano ang rational inequalities, ano ang rational expression. So, magkakaiba sila, pero lahat yun, it involves rational expression. So, pag sinabi po natin rational expression, anything that has that can be written as a ratio of two polynomials, ibig sabihin, ang rational expression is my ratio ng two polynomials. Rational. So, for dito, nasan dito yung mga rational expression? Yung una, this one, number one, of course, x squared plus 3x plus 2 is a polynomial function, specifically a quadratic equation. Polynomial siya. x plus 4 is a polynomial function. So, since it is a ratio of two polynomial functions, this expression as a whole is a rational expression. 1 all over 3 squared, 3x squared is also a rational expression. Although, sabihin, baka sabihin nyo, yung numerator po 0, ay yung numerator po 1, hindi naman po yan polynomial function. No, polynomial function pa rin yan. Okay, remember, yung polynomial function, hindi lang, hindi lang laging merong variable, di ba? Diba sa dulo nun meron tayong tinatawag na constant term? So, itong function na to, na 1 lang, constant term lang siya. Okay, ang degree niya is 0. Or yung n niya, 0. E, x raised to 0, nagiging 1. So, hindi porket constant, or hindi porket nakita nyo na wala siyang variable na x, is hindi na siya polynomial. Polynomial function pa rin siya. Yun nga lang, ang degree niya is Zero. So, still, si number 2 is a rational expression because it is a ratio of two polynomial. 3x squared is obviously also a polynomial expression. Number 3, this is a quadratic equation. So, polynomial function, yung numerator. 2 is also a polynomial function. So, still, rational expression pa rin po si number 3. Pang-apat, si x cubed minus 1, walang duda, polynomial function. Pero si x, square root of x plus 1, hindi po iyan polynomial. No? Kasi may radical na eh. Remember, yung definition natin ng polynomial, dapat a n, x raised to n, plus a n minus 1, times x raised to n minus 1, blah, 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 hanggang a raised to 0, where n is greater than 1. Greater than or equal to 1, sorry. Dito, ang square root of x plus 1, that is also equivalent to x plus 1 raised to 1 half. Ang exponent niya, n, na 1 half, that is less than 1. 
So, hindi siya polynomial function. And therefore, because the numerator is not a polynomial function, it is not a ratio of polynomial functions. And therefore, it is not a rational function. Last, number five. Is it a rational expression? Sorry. Okay. So, medyo merong confusion dito for number 5 kasi hindi natin alam kung nasaan yung main division line pero ang alam ko, ang main division line natin is nandito. So, usually, okay, kahit kayo pag magsasolve na kayo ng mga outputs na ipapasa nyo, please be careful and please specify well kung nasaan yung main division line. Habaan nyo yung main division line. Okay, yung mismo talagang... So, ito yung main division line natin, which means that 1 all over x plus 2 is being divided or is divided to by x minus 2. And by division, that only means na when we divide fractions, what are we going to do? We proceed to multiplication. However, i-reciprocate natin yung divisor. So, that is 1 all over x minus 2. And if we proceed to the, to multiplication, 1 times 1, numerator times numerator, that is 1. And then, x plus 2 times x minus 2. So, pag simplify mo itong uh, expression na to, magiging ganito siya. So, ano ito? Rational o hindi rational? Uh, rational? Rational. Rational. So, so, still, number 5 is a rational expression. So, huwag tayong papaloko. No? I, I, as much as possible, kung pwede, isimplify mo muna yung expression. So, the expression is a rational expression. Okay, bakit ba kasi importante kung ma-define ma or ma-distinguish mo kung rational expression siya o hindi? Kasi ang rational functions contains rational expression. Rational equation and rational inequalities contains rational expression. So, dapat dun pa lang ma-distinguish mo na kung rational expression siya. Before proceeding with the three, yung sinabi ko, um, function, equation, or inequality. So, ito yung ano, distinguishing features or kung paano natin ma-distinguish ang rational equation sa inequality at sa function. Basic lang naman. Kasi lahat yan, merong rational expression. Si rational equation, <laughs> apaka-basic ng pagkaka-define niya. So, as you can see dito sa example, meron siyang rational expression. And of course, equation, di ba? Equation, meaning, dapat may equal sign. Ayan. Ito ay isang example ng rational equation. Rational inequality, on the other hand, inequality, dapat merong inequality symbol or sign. Ano ba yung mga inequality symbol natin? Greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal. So, pag nakita nyo itong apat na to, rational inequality siya. And of course, dapat meron pa rational expressions. Okay. And lastly, ano naman yung rational function? Sir, may equal equal sign din lang naman siya, sir. Hindi ba dapat rational equation din siya? Hindi. Ang rational function is a, of course, ratio ng polynomials. Ito. Rational expression siya. And on the other side of the equation, meron tayong iba pang variable. Or yung mismong variable natin na f of x or yung y. So, matatawag mo siyang function. Kasi y or f of x is a function of x. Hindi kagaya nito, dito sa rational equation kasi, pwedeng hindi variable yung nandun sa kabilang side. Para maging rational function siya, dapat ini-express mo siya explicitly na magkahiwalay yung f of x or y, nandun siya sa kabilang side ng equation, tapos sa kabilang side, nandun po yung rational expression. Kasi baka sabihin nyo, Parehas naman silang may equal sign. Of course, parehas yan. So, 
does that mean sir na lahat ba ng rational equations rational function din depende nga kung yung kabilang side is isang variable or other variable variable other than x which is a function of x pero kung ang nakita mo for example napalitan to na hindi yan y ang nakita mo is 1 fifth or 3 o hindi yan variable tama so mabagsak niyan hindi na yan magiging rational function babalik ka na dito sa rational equation pero kung nakita mo y yan or f of x either of the two usually ito naman talaga ang dalawang ginagamit or pinapalitan yung letter lang ng function function siya Maliwanag po ba tayo? Paano natin madidistinguish? Sir, meron bang ano, rational function na inequality? Pwede rin po yun. Meron din naman pong ganyan. So, anong tawag sa kanya, sir? Rational function pa rin. Pero hindi lang inequality yung gamit na uh, tawag nito, na symbol. Or hindi lang equality sign ang gamit niyang symbol. Mag-proceed tayo sa mga example. Ayan. Ay, nakalimutan kong tanggalin yung sit work. Hindi ito sit work. Determine whether the given uh, ano, given is a rational function, rational equation, rational inequality, or none of these. So, letter A, ano po siya? Function, equation, rational inequality, or none of these. Function. Function, of course. Kasi, yung kabilang side, ibang variable or y, wherein y is a function of x. So, that is a rational function. How about letter B? Rational? For inequalities. Yung symbol equation. sa gitna. Equation. Kasi yung symbol sa gitna, Equal sign. So, hindi na yun inequality. Kasi equal sign nga, di ba? Ngayon, pagpipiliin mo na lang kung function or equation. E kaso, hindi naman siya function kasi hindi naman siya inexpress as other variable dun sa kabilang side. So, this is a rational equation. For letter C, rational function, rational equation, rational inequality, none of this. None. 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 None of these. None? Yes, kasi una sa lahat, yung None? nasa left-hand side ay hindi yan rational expression, di ba? Isa siya, yes. radic radical okay. yan. So, none of these yan. Kasi kung dun pa lang na-identify mo na, so hindi na siya pwedeng maging ganito, maging rational function, rational equation, rational inequality, kasi wala naman siyang rational expression. Again, di ba requirement yon? Kaya nga, dinistinguish natin kanina. Yung tatlong yan, dapat may rational expression. Kung wala, hindi siya magpo-fall dyan sa tatlong binabanggit natin. So, letter D, equation, function, or inequality, none of this. Equation. Equation. Ayan. Letter E, <laughs> nalilito na sila <laughs> ah, pag unang tingin mo ah, function kasi may y sa kabila pero tignan mo ba rational expression ba to polynomial ba yung numerator and denominator mo denominator polynomial oo e itong numerator is it a Polynomial function? Hindi. Kasi may radical. Okay. Hindi porket may kasama siyang 7 cube. Pasok. Remember nga, sa polynomial functions, ang exponent niya ng x, na variable x, should be greater than or equal to 1. And again, yung square root of x, ang exponent niya, that is also equivalent to x raised to 1 half, and 1 half is less than 1. So, hindi niya masasatisfy yung condition para maging poly polynomial function siya. And therefore, the numerator is not a polynomial function and because of that, this is not a rational function. Although hindi siya mukhang, uh, although mukha siyang function, no? Kasi biglang tingin mo, may y equals na. Okay, tignan mo muna yung major requirement talaga 
bago mo ma-distinguish dun sa tatlo kung function, equation, or inequality, is first determine if it is a rational expression on the first place. How about for letter F? Inequality. 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 Yes. Isa lang naman pupuntahan yan kasi may inequality sign tayo. So that is a rational inequality. So maliwanag po tayo sa tatlong yan. Ayan. So last lesson na tayo. And actually meron pang part 2. Pero this time, for lesson number 6 naman, still under rational functions, is we are going to solve rational equations and inequalities. So, ito yung medyo kailangan nating uh, doblehin ang attention kasi magsusolve na tayo. For example, so, unahin natin ang mga equalities or equation, rational equation. I-solve daw natin itong 2x minus 2 all over x minus 3 all over 2x equals 5, 1 over 5. Rewrite ko lang dito sa baba. Napakapangit ng sulat ko. Okay, equals 1 all over 5. Kapag equation yan and rational function, rational equation, sorry, ang una mong gagawin is magmultiply ka or eliminate natin yung pagiging rational function niya. That is, we have to express this as a single function Single rational expression dun sa left hand side or one side tapos sa kabila is nasa zero. Ayan. Ay, I'm sorry. Ang una pala natin gagawin is eliminate yung numerator. Yung pagiging fraction niya or rational niya. So, mumultiply natin ng certain kunin natin yung least common denominator nila. So, pwedeng ang gawin natin is ilipat muna natin si 1 fifth. So, from Ah, okay. Parehas lang din kasi. Ayan. And then, fraction slot yan. Ano ang least common denominator ng mga yan? 10x. 10x, very good. So, 10x. All over. Paano pong ginagawa sa LCD? 10x. I-divide mo isa-isa dun sa denominator. So, kung makukuha mo is 10. Tama? 10x divided by x is 10. Yung sagot, multiply mo siya dito. So, 10 times 2, that is 20. Minus, sa kabila naman, 10x divided by 2x, ang sagot, 5 15. times 15. 3, you get 15. 15. Okay, and then, lastly, dito sa 1 fifth, uh, negative yun na, negative 15, kasi negative 3. So, 10x divided by 5x, 2x, 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 2x. okay, times negative 1, 2x. okay, negative 2x. 2x, very good, negative 2x. Purain ko lang para. Naka dito, okay. Ayan. Oh, may cancellation. Equals 0. Divide. Pwede ako mag-multiply ng 10x both sides. Para, pa, para lang mawala yung denominator. And kapag nag-multiply naman ako both sides, wala akong pinaviolate na rule. Kasi kung anong ginawa ko sa left side, yun din ginawa ko sa right side. So, makakancel na po itong 10x dito. Kasi 10x all over 10x yan. Matitira na lang is 20 minus 15 minus 2x. And on the right hand side, 10x times 0 is just equal to 0 lang din. Kasi 0 na yan. And then, combine like terms na tayo, 20 minus 15, 5. Syempre, si 2x, hindi mo pwedeng isama kasi mayroon siyang 
x. Sana all my x. Lipat ko si negative 2x, magiging positive 2x. Dito ah. Kasi ang luwang luwa. Mag-divide tayo ngayon ng 2 kasi sabi niya solve for x. So, si x lang dapat ang matira. Divide ako ng 2. x equals 5 all over 2. That is 2.5. So, yun na yung sagot. Or kung gusto mo dahil OC ka, balik ta rin mo. Okay. Okay lang. <laughs> Parehas lang yun. What? Tamang x itong nasa taas. Eh. Kasi titignan mo, kung itong mga nasa taas ay rong may, may x, doon lang magkakaroon ng x squared. Kasi pag dinivide mo, then multiply mo ulit. Kaso wala naman silang kasamang x. Hindi siya mag x squared. Ay bali sir, yung parang mag-iisip na pwede siyang i- Yung, yung pagkuha ng list common denominator is wala talaga siyang rule. Pero meron tayong tinatawag na list um, lista, <laughs> list method. Ililista mo yung ito. Ito yung mga denominators ng tatlong fraction, ba Then, ililista mo isa-isa yung multiple. 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, 6x, 7x, 8x, 10x, and so on. Tapos si 2x, multiples ng 2. 4x, 6x, 7x, 8x, 10x. So, yung unang ano, magkapareha sa kanila. Ah, sorry, sorry, hindi kasama si 7x. 8x, 10x. Yung unang magkapareha sa kanila, yun yung pipiliin mo. Sir, hindi mo ba consider yung 5? Hindi na, kasi anything naman na i-divide mo kay 5. Eh, okay lang naman. Um, a, 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 ang 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 common ang iko ang iko ang iko consider mo lang kapag constant siya is yung coefficient lang natin kasi pwede pang may iba no pero pwede pa pwede pa ang 20x pag 20x pag dinivide mo kay x 2x and 5 pwede pa rin naman pero hindi yun yung least okay kaya nga tinawag na least common denominator Kasi, yun yung pinakamababa. Actually, meron pang ibang mga common denominators. Pwede kang 20x, pwede 30x, 40x. Pwede yung mga yun. Pero ang una, ang kinukuha talaga natin is yung list. Yung pinakauna. Pinakamababa. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Tapos pag kumukuha ka ng list common denominator, oh, ang consider mo lang talaga is yung mga may variable lang. And of course, dapat ma-divide dito. Kasi pag kunwari yung 10x, dinivide mo ng 5, which is yung denominator nito. Sumasama lang naman yung, ano, yung variable na x. Diba? Gumag nagiging 2x lang siya. Sumasama lang yung x. Kaya ang consider mo na lang is yung mga may variable na x. Then sa coefficient niya, um, sa coefficient, consider mo yung 5, 2, and 1. Magkaiba kasi siya. Okay? Una, consider mo yung coefficient. Pangalawa, yung mga variable. Kunwari, uh, naiba yan. Kunwari, x squared, tapos 2x, tapos 5. Ang una mong kitignan is yung least common denominator ng mga, ano muna, least common multiple ng mga variables. So, ang least common multiple ng variables is x squared. Kasi susunod dito, x squared, x cubed, ganun. And then, saka mo titignan yung least common multiple naman ng mga coefficients. Dito ang coefficient niya, 1, tapos ito, 2, tapos ito, 5. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, hanggang 10. Tapos ito, 5, 10. So, ang pinakamababa na multiple nila is 10. Kaya, 10 x squared. Kung x squared ito. Okay. Anyway, so ang sagot natin dan is 2 fifth. Another um, example. Solve natin si x. 
x all over x plus 2 minus 1 all over x minus 2 equals 8 all over x squared minus 4. Mm -hmm. So, ang unang problema natin is paano kukunin ang least common denominator. The least common denominator, again, is yun yung expression na kapag dinivide mo, is ma-express mo siya as a single function. So, pwedeng ang gawin natin, direkta na lang tayo, mag-multiply na tayo ng expression para makancel yung mga nasa baba. Okay? Pag trial and error ka, Okay, x plus 2, kasi ito yung nandito sa may x. Right? Kung try and error, siya lang yung makakancel. Pero yung x minus 2, pag minultiply mo siya ng x plus 2, hindi niya naman makakancel sa x minus 2. ba? Kasi x plus 2 yan, hindi niya makakancel. So, nung gagawin mo? Ah, idagdag ko si x minus 2. Pag minultiply mo itong x plus 2 times x minus 2 dito, makakancel niya sa x plus 2, diba? Kasi nakamultiply naman. Tapos pag minultiply mo naman sa 1 minus x minus 2, makakancel niya rin. Ang dito, may maiiwan na x minus 2. Pero pag minultiply mo na dito, makakancel sa x minus 2, meron namang maiiwang x plus 2. Pero meron pa pala tayong ano, third rational ano, function. Makakancel kaya yung x squared minus 4 pag minultiply natin ng x plus 2 times x minus 2? Yes. yes Kasi pag kapag sinimplify natin itong x plus 2, x minus 2, sum and difference yan, x squared mag minus 4 ang magiging simplification yan. And makakancel lang din yun. Tama? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Sa madaling sabi, kapag kumukuha tayo ng least common denominator na ang involved ay mga Ang denominators mo is rash, uh, polynomial functions. Ang pinaka best way para kunin ang least common denominator nila is yung product mismo nung mga uh, polynomial functions na nasa denominator. Kaya yun nga. Ang ipagmumultiply natin is product lang din kung sino yung mga nasa baba. Dinisin ko lang ulit. Kaya ang i-multiply natin is Binura ko pa no, babalik ko lang din. x plus 2 times x minus 2 sa left side, x plus 2 times x minus 2 sa right side. Kapag minultiply natin, syempre i-distribute natin yan dito at saka dito. Okay, pag dito sa unang um, rational function, uh, rational expression natin, ang maka-cancel si x plus 2. Ayun. Therefore, ang may matitirang x minus 2 sa taas. So, x times x minus 2. Minus, kapag dito naman siya sa 1 all over x minus 2, ang makakancel naman is yung x minus 2. Ang matitira naman is 1 times x plus 2. Or, pwede mo nang tanggalin si 1, kasi kahit ano namang minultiply sa kanya, yun lang din. On the right hand side, Si x plus 2 times x minus 2 ay equal lang po sa x squared minus 4. So, pag multiply mo yan dito sa right hand side, makakancel itong x squared minus 4. Ang matitira na lang sa kanya, 8 na lang. Kasi, x squared minus 4 times x minus, x divided times x squared minus 4, mali, x squared minus 4 divided by x squared minus 4 is 1, and 1 times 8 is 8. Then, pwede na po tayo magsimplify. Distribute po yung x. x times x. x squared. x. x times 2x or minus 2x. Negative, negative 2x. Yung negative sign, kagaya nga nang sabi ko, pag nag-multiply tayo, huwag nyong, huwag nyong kakalimutan ang parenthesis pag meron kang negative sign or subtraction yung nasa gitna. Kasi mamamali ka pag ganyan lang. Okay? Dapat lagyan mo ng parenthesis para i-distribute yung actually negative 1 ang dinidistribute dito. So distribute mo yan negative x, distribute mo yan negative 2 which is equal to 8 Combine like terms or simplify, we have x squared minus 3x 
minus 2, ilipat na natin si 8, magiging negative 8 na siya. Tama. So, x squared minus 3x minus 2 minus 8 is negative 10. Negative 10. Okay. Para masolve si x, kung gawin natin, factor out po natin yung x squared minus 3x. Ayan. x, x, factor mo si x squared. Factor mo si negative 10, na dapat makuha mo is negative 3, at ang sagot is negative 5, tsaka negative 2. Ah, sorry, positive 2. Positive positive. Positive 2 equals 0. And then, anong ginagawa natin to solve for x? Hahatiin natin yan. Una, si x minus 5, equate mo sa 0. Yung x plus 2, equate mo din sa 0. Dito sa unang um, equation, transpose, transpose natin si negative 5. So, magiging positive 5 na siya. Then, dito sa kabila, negative 2. Negative 2 naman. So, dalawa yung magiging Pero, okay, ito yung um, medyo tricky and meron tayong catch kapag nagsusolve tayo ng rational functions. Kasi, meron tayong tinatawag na extraneous solutions. Ibig sabihin, noong sinimplify mo, tinanggal mo yung pagiging rational function niya, sinabsitute mo, uh, actually, uh, sinimplify mo, nakaksolve ka ng dalawa. Minsan, especially kapag more than or more than 1 yung solutions kagaya nga nito, meron tayong dalawang solution minsan hindi lahat yan is tamang solution so to check if that is an extreme solution or real solution ba or a true solution ba yung um, nakuha yung value is, isa substitute nyo siya dun sa original rational function which is ito okay, then i-check nyo kung both um, sides nung equation or nung rational equation ay uh, mag equal So, kapag trinay natin si 5, we get 5 all over 5 plus 2 equals, sorry, minus 1 all over 5 minus 2 equals 8 all over 5 squared minus 4. Okay, sinolve ko, ginamit ko yung unang value ni x, which is x1 equals 5. Burain ko lang to ah, para may space ako. Pag sinimplify po natin ito, we got 5 all over 7 minus 1 all over 3 equals 8 all over 25 minus 4 is 21. 21. Simplify natin itong left hand side. Ang uh, least common multiple is 21. Or LCD is 21. 20, 21 divided by 7. 3 times 5. 15. 15. Minus 21 divided by 3. 7. 7. 7. So 15 minus 7. 8 all over 21. Equals 8 all over 21. Parehas ba? Yes, okay. dahil napag-equal mo yung both sides dun sa original rational function. Solution ngayon si x1 equals 5. Then, try mo din when x equals negative 2 naman yung isang solution. I'll erase lang ito. So, magiging kinalabasan is negative 2 all over negative 2 plus 2. Okay, dun pa lang nakita nyo na negative 2 minus 2 equals 8 all over negative 2 squared minus 4. Negative 2 plus 2 is ano? 0. 0. Oh, and magiging negative 2 divided by 0 yan. And this is an undefined, undefined yan. Undefined. Okay. Ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng maging solution CX2 na negative 2. So, hindi kasama CX equals negative 2. No? So,
So, wag muna tayong titigil kapag na-simplify natin, natanggal yung rational and nag-solve tayo. Kailangan i-check muna natin kung true solution ba, kung totoong solution. Ang tawag dito kay ano is extraneous solution. Kasi, oo, nung simplify mo, nakuha mo siya as a solution, pero nung sinubstitute mo siya dun sa original rational equation, undefined na or hindi na equal. Minsan hindi rin nag equal yung left and, hand, left and right hand side nung rational equation. So, extraneous solution ang tawag. Hindi na kasama si negative 2. Ang sagot lang natin is x1 equals 5. Maliwanag po ba? So, these are examples for rational equations. Let's try sa inequality naman. Ay, hindi pa pala. Pero pa pala isang example. Allah, tapos na. Uy! Hanggang 